dude, I still can't believe that two black dudes went to a fucking Starbucks, refused to buy anything, asked to use the fucking bathroom, and then they refused to leave. Then the police came. Then they met the CEO a week later. Then they shut all of them down for fucking sensitivity training. The CEO of Starbucks is in Philadelphia tonight performing damage control. The coffee chain is facing protests and boycott threats after two black men were arrested for not making a purchase and refusing to leave the store. What do we want? Liberation! Activists upset over Thursday's incident protested inside the coffee chain this morning and outside this afternoon, calling it a clear case of racial profiling. Shared millions of times on social media, the video shows two black men handcuffed and arrested for sitting at a Starbucks without buying anything. They claim they were there for a business meeting and were waiting for someone. Starbucks says the employee who initially complained to police is no longer at that store. CEO Kevin Johnson apologized and traveled to Philadelphia where he plans to meet the two men. What happened in the way that incident escalated and the outcome was nothing but reprehensible. And I'm sorry. If they were white, would this have happened? None of the white customers were asked to leave, and they were there a lot longer than those young men. Stuart Cohen represents the two men. Even if the charges get expunged or relieved, it does follow you for the rest of your life. And before they come forward to speak, the yet-to-be-identified men that were arrested here said to their attorney they want to see real change in the way Starbucks handles people like them. In the meantime, Jeff, we should know that Police Commissioner Richard Ross continues to stand behind the actions of his officers. Well, don't bother heading to Starbucks this evening because most of them are closed. Right now, employees across the country are learning about bias and discrimination. Our tenders reporter Jeff Lasky take, took a visit to multiple locations today to find out if customers think the company is doing enough to treat customers with respect. Warren Williams was one of the last people in at this location in Choice View. My opinion, this is the best one in San Diego. Even those people surprised to find Starbucks closed understood why it was. I have two gentlemen in my cafe that are refusing to make a purchase or leave. Just about everyone heard about this incident last month in Philadelphia. A Starbucks manager called police on two African-American men who had not yet ordered anything but were waiting for a business meeting. If they got Starbucks to give money to a certain uh, charity fund, that's fine. As part of the company's reaction to the incident, Starbucks agreed to close more than 8,000 locations today for training. This will not be an inexpensive day for them, but it demonstrates how important this is. 10 News spoke with a conflict resolution expert who says Starbucks seems to be going about this training in the right way. It's not enough to just say we're checking the box that we did diversity training this year. But really, what are you giving your employees? Are you equipping them with the tools to communicate effectively with those who are different than them. Everyone I spoke with said training is the right step, although they'd like to see more of it. For the time they're going by doing it today, it should have been longer instead of just a couple of hours. Jeff Lasky, 10 News. And those Starbucks stores will reopen tomorrow morning. The company says it will post a copy of its training curriculum online for anyone to see. Oh, you have it so bad. And they were probably settled out of court they probably were paid like a fat settlement and they were on the news and everything like dude if you can if there's a huge cottage industry about you complaining about being a victim and this has existed my entire sentient life like dude in this milieu you are the furthest thing from oppressed you are the oppressors at this point dude like we're losing who, like, we're who losing the fuck doesn't know who doesn't know that if you go into a business there's a good chance you can't especially if you're in a city if you're in a rural area, it's probably different. But for the most part, and I don't know, a thickly settled area, you probably got to buy something Dude, if you want the to use they, their the way uh, they get around The way they get around that is they rely on this ridiculous hypothesis that if you're a white guy and you go in there and refuse to buy anything, that they're just going to be like, oh, well, of course, right this way, sir. Here's our free don't buy anything seating for white people. Like, oh, here you go. Uh, enjoy. I, w I wouldn't know that because if I'm going to want to use the bathroom... I'll just buy a water right. and then ask for the code mm -hmm. up there. I, I wouldn't know what it's like to do that. I, I wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't just try and get away with something like that. Here's the crazy thing, too. It was like a 70-degree day. Like, and, and like you guys, y'all couldn't wait outside? <laughs> We're waiting for somebody. You can't wait outside? Yeah. Nope, we got to wait inside and not buy anything and use the bathroom. It's just fucking staged, obviously. I mean, come on.
a stage so that by, by these like groups so that they can fucking make dude, money. Seeing how things are now, seeing how things are now, dude, I, I fucking would not be that, that wouldn't even be considered conspiratorial to me. Seeing how a quarantine race wars played out. 